Hi guys, another week and another guest who was invited onto a show where she doesn't understand what the heck she's talking about. So Tory MP Laura Trott was on a panel to defend the Conservative government's plan to reduce migration. Net migration is expected to reach 606,000 this year. Laura was asked which foreign workers she would like to see rejected and not offered employment. She tried to dodge the question but eventually admitted, HGV drivers. Now, according to the latest data I could find, there are 268,000 such drivers in the United Kingdom. Which sounds a lot, but is it enough? Not really. According to data from 2021, the UK is about 100,000 drivers short. This may have dropped to about 60,000, but the sector is said to be suffering from a chronic shortage. Let's hear what Laura had to say. So of the work visas, for example, who would yep. you not want well, coming here? I think this is, and the point that the gentleman Would you want to answer there, that question? No, no, I will, I promise I will. Um, I, would you I want to answer it now? So I'm going to talk about uh, a story which illustrates our different approach. Well, about, so just let's, before we get that story, because I'm going to ask you both. So for example, on HGV drivers, well, so that's what I was going to say. Can you so. ask that question and then do the HGV drivers? So, so who, of, on the work visas, for example, we know half of those went to health and social care workers. Who would you not want to come if you want to get the numbers down? Which so the Conservatives have said repeatedly since 2010. Absolutely. And it's really important that for skilled professions like, for example, HGV drivers, we take up that, that we're training as many people okay. as possible. And that is what we have shown that we are going to do. And but so the numbers that are coming now, in order to yes. get the numbers down on work visas, because I understand you can't control what happens in Ukraine, yeah. Hong Kong, things like that. Yeah. On work visas, yes. who would you want not to come? It's really important that we have more training for people within the UK. But of those so coming that's... now, who can you see would, would because you've been in government but, 13 years now, yes. who can you see that you would like not to come in order to get the numbers down? So I just gave an example. So for example... Lorry with, drivers. Yeah, exactly. So but, okay. when... That's a, yes, yeah, but, but lorry drivers, a lot example. of British lorry drivers have been trained already and that is a success story. Yes, but then, it's not a success story. There's a chronic shortage. Yes, a lot of drivers have been trained up, but not enough. And these drivers can't operate in Europe. <laughs> this, this is the problem, that their qualifications are not recognised in Europe. So they can operate in the United Kingdom, but they can't operate in Europe. So if they need to take deliveries from Britain into Europe, they have to stop at the border and they have to transfer the goods to another European driver. While the European driver can drive into Britain and drive around Britain and then return to Europe without any problems. And she wants to reduce the number of HGV drivers. There's a chronic shortage and she wants to make it more chronic. <laughs> okay. like, th th these people are standing on a platform where they're saying we need to bring down immigration. They don't explain why. They're not really asked why, which is strange. You would imagine a journalist's first question is, why do you want to bring down immigration? Because if they start talking about, well, they're, they're a cost on the state, well, these, they're not. People working are not a cost. They're contributing to society. They're contributing to the exchequer. So the argument that, well, they're a cost doesn't fly. Is it about accommodation? Is it about house building? Well, th that's not the, the fault of the immigrants, the, the people coming to work. That's government policy. Government policy over the last 13 years was not to build enough houses. The government could have built as many houses as they wanted, but they decided not to. So you can't blame the immigrants for that. So what is the, what is the argument here? What is the justification for trying to bring down immigration? Is it just to keep racists and bigots happy? Let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think? As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.